the most personally satisfying and rewarding uh, thing uh, or experience during uh, my presidency was my involvement in the youth upliftment through employment program, youth, um, which was a program that is really uh, uh, led by a coalition of private sector organizations, including the PSOJ, um, to, that seeks to focus on improving the employability of, in particular, unattached youth from our inner city communities, and then finding for those individuals, once they've graduated from the program, uh, work experience opportunities amongst our membership. Perhaps one of my greatest disappointments was the fact that uh, I had set as an objective early on um, to have two business associations, um, the Jamaica Chamber of Commerce and the Jamaica Manufacturers Association, who were previously members of the PSOJ, uh, rejoin the PSOJ. Um, now, you know, despite the fact that we've been able to have a very close working relationship uh, with both the JCC and the JMA throughout my own tenure, uh, the fact is that I was unable to persuade them of the wisdom of rejoining the PSOJ. So that, that I suppose, you know, was an objective that I had set for myself at the outset that has not been achieved and therefore uh, probably represents a, a significant disappointment. Um, well, I remain a member of the PSOJ. I remain a member of council. Uh, the uh, incoming president has asked me to continue to chair the project board of the youth program, which I'm going to do. Um, and we are also exploring uh, you know, the continued role of the private sector working group, the PSWG, um, and I would obviously wish to be involved in that um, to whatever extent we have a role going forward. But those are all decisions that ultimately will be taken by the executive and the officers. Suffice to say um, that you know, I do believe that the PSOJ is a very important organization in the country um, and I am more than prepared to continue to provide it with support um, as well as my own time within the limits, obviously, of uh, my other commitments.